YouTube, Brooke here from Brooke Geek Goodness, my little channel on the web for all things geeky and cool. In this video, guys, we have another Funko review of a really, really cool item. In this case, it's a Funko Pop ride, something I've had in my collection for about three years now. And decided it's time to break it out to a full breakdown, full deep dive into this Funko Pop ride with the startup of Game of Thrones Season 8, the last season of Game of Thrones. I think this item is really a good point now to break it out and do a full review for. That's right, we're talking about Daenerys with Drogon. This is Funko Pop Ride number 15 out of the Game of Thrones series. Now, this is a really, really cool pop ride. There's great points with this pop ride, and there's some weaknesses with it as well. Price point from what I believe I got it for, I think it was $25 US. I could be off on the price, but I think it's 25 bucks. That was circa 2016. I checked pop price guide, I think it was this morning. I think it was selling for $22. So it is very manageable when it comes to cost. Now, one thing to take note about a year later, I believe it was 2017, they did a repaint for it, which was the Night King and Viserion. I'll put a picture up so you see what it looks like. It's a glow-in-the-dark version of the Night King riding Viserion. Of course, the dragon met his end at the end of Season 7 of Game of Thrones. Spoiler if you guys did not know. But I think it's time now to really break out this pop ride and talk about it. Again, with Season 8 starting up, I talked about it on the stream. It's time now to do a full breakdown, full review of Daenerys and Drogon. The full breakdown segment, we'll look at the packaging as a whole. We'll look at the paint articulation and conclude in final thoughts for you, the viewer. Should you shell out the money for a really cool, really neat Funko Pop ride number 15, Game of Thrones, Daenerys and Drogon? Stay tuned, guys. We'll go into a breakdown. All right, guys. We're in a breakdown segment looking at the Funko Pop ride's Game of Thrones number 15 pop. And the very first thing we always do in a breakdown segment is look at the packaging and design. So over here, we've got a nice little window box display. It's a basic Funko box, just bigger, like a Funko Pop box, but just larger. Most Funko Pop rides have this. So over here, we have Pop rides in this corner. We have Game of Thrones logo, you have number 15 pop. Nice window box display that you see Drogon and Daenerys inside. You have nice artwork right there. At the bottom it does say Daenerys and Drogon together right here at the bottom. On this side over here we have another shot of them together. Nice Game of Thrones logo has pop rides number 15. On this side of course it does have Daenerys and Drogon again number 15. Another shot of him right there, them together. At the top same deal. We have Daenerys and Drogon pop rides. And the back of the packaging has that same Game of Thrones look and feel to it. Funko Pop Rides, Game of Thrones, number 15. Another shot, the same one we've been seeing of Daenerys riding Drogon and all the items that are available in that particular wave. Uh, take note, the bottom here in this particular wave, you had Drogon at 6-inch scale and Rhaegal at 6-inch scale as well. So really cool Funko Pop Ride. Let's get Daenerys and Drogon out of packaging and continue the breakdown segment. Alright guys, we have Daenerys and Drogon out of packaging. The very first thing we always do is look at the paint and presentation. Really cool looking Funko Pop Ride. Let's take Daenerys off of Drogon right now and come back to her. Drogon's pretty cool. He's the reason why you want to buy this Funko Pop ride. He's not a very long pop in size. He's about, I want to say, six, six and a half inches in length. His tail does curl around this way. As you can see, his tail is curling around the back side here. That sort of uh, makes him a little bit shorter in size, but he looks really, really cool. Let's look at his head. Head sculpt looks amazing. I love the red eyes here, the beady red eyes of Drogon. On. The mouth is open. It's a gape. You can see the really great attention to detail Funko did put on this particular pop ride. This vinyl figure looks great. Uh, you can see even a tongue inside there. His teeth. The wings are in a lower uh, frame here. The wings are in a low position. They're not raised higher up. They're just flat down to the ground. Mainly, I would say it looks good. It's good for stability. The pop ride is not going to tip over. It's very stable. You can hold it even in your hand like this, and it's not going to go anywhere. It's sits on a shelf, has a very small footprint. I talk about that a lot in many of my videos are footprints, and I like having something that's very detailed, but doesn't take up a whole lot of space. You want to have a lot of real estate when it comes to your collectibles and your collection where not huge, huge things like, let's say, the one woman in invisible jet. That takes up a lot of real estate, very, very big footprint. This has a very small footprint. There is no articulations on the wings. It is scaly. You can see the scales, the attention detail going down the back right here. Even on the head, I want to get really close to the head, you can see the horns. The, the attention to detail that Funko did on this 
Strogon Dragon is extremely detailed. Love the way it looks. The belly has scales as well right there. His feet are uh, kind of squatted down. He looks really, really cool. Uh, the wings, if you were curious, are red uh, with this red material in the middle. I really wish this would maybe had a glow to dark feature right here or even the eyes right there. Uh, maybe using Captain Marvel's glow to dark, glow -to -dark technology where it would have been a red glow to dark effect. I think that would have been really, really cool. That really would have sold me on this dragon even more. The tail's kind of neat because the tail's kind of flapping up. It's in an up position right here. Looks great. There is no articulation on Drogon. The head does not move. The wings do not move. The legs do not move. It's all one static piece of vinyl material. Now I'm going to bring Drogon off the shot. I want to bring in Daenerys. And the reason why I'm bringing Daenerys in, you notice she looks a little bit weird. She's in this really weird pose because she's riding Daenerys, riding Drogon like kind of like a horse. She's in a, a weird bent position. That, I think, is the biggest weakness of this pop. There is articulation, very, very tight. Uh, she's wearing sort of this white dress all, you know, all the way down. It's kind of coming out the back of the pop. Love the head sculpt. This is the typical Daenerys head sculpt. Love the braids in the hair. Look at the attention to detail, guys. Look how much detail they have on just her hair alone. Silly amount of detail. Love the way she looks. Her hands are in a very, very weird pose. I kind of lean her backwards. They're like this. Her hands are up like this. And the reason for that is when you would put her on Drogon, she's like she's holding on. It, it's secure, quote unquote, secure enough. She's not going to fall off and just leave her sitting here. Um, that's the biggest problem I have with this Funko Pop ride. When she's off of Drogon, she would just totter and fall. Even, I mean, she has the little back piece of her skirt right here, right there. Look at it in the shot. This little back piece, right, this white piece, kind of helps with stability a little bit, but it looks very weird when you take her off the pop. And this is what I think maybe is a step in the wrong direction that Funko had, because this would have been perfect candidates in my opinion, even though I don't like them that much, for a Funko Pop Deluxe. If they made it to Funko Pop Deluxe and just gave us a head coming off the body, you wouldn't have to worry about the Funko Pop being lost, coming off of the pop, or looking very, very weird. It does look very awkward. She's in this weird pose. The Night King repaint is in a very similar pose just like Daenerys here. But that is probably the biggest weakness, I think, in this pop ride. But beside that, the dragon looks awesome. I mean, again, looking at the horns, they look really, really cool. I really recommend this Funko pop ride. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, if you like dragons, it's a definite buy, in my honest opinion. With that being said, let's go to final thoughts and wrap up this video. All right, guys, final thoughts on the Funko Pop Ride Game of Thrones number 15, Daenerys and Drogon. I really like this pop ride. There's some really good points I talked about in the breakdown segment. The dragon looks really, really cool. That's where the real money is on this Funko Pop Ride, guys. It's, it's Drogon. Drogon looks really, really good. The biggest weakness is Daenerys. She's sitting in that squat pose. They kind of squatch the pop up, and it really doesn't work well when you remove her from Drogon. When you take her off the dragon, she sits there and sort of totters a little little bit and it doesn't look right to me. Um, I, I don't know if they could have engineered it in a different way, maybe turned it instead of a pop ride, could have made it into a pop deluxe where it didn't detach. Um, I think that in this situation, because I did a full review, I'll put a link up to here, was Funko Pop Ride versus Funko Pop Deluxes. I talk about it, kind of go into a bit of a rant about it, but I think maybe a pop deluxe might have been a better call than a pop ride because as soon as you remove her from Drogon, she looks really, really weird. Another thing I think they probably could have did, just like they did with Night King and Viserion is maybe make this glow in the dark as well. Maybe make his eyes glow or the belly glow or the wings glow in mean, that red sort of like a red or orange glow that we've seen on like maybe the Captain Marvel pops that really cool red glow effect. I think the eyes would have been really cool having Drogon's eyes glow would have been very very cool. I think that was a shortcoming of a misstep that Funko kind of missed the mark on but they really picked up on it with the Viserion Night King uh, repaint. So uh, if you like this one you probably like that one as well. So I think this is a really good pop well worth the money about $22 US now you should be able to find around 22 25 no more than $30 you shouldn't spend more than 30 bucks for this two-pack here again if you're a big Game of Thrones fan I highly recommend it it's definitely a buy in my honest opinion but take note you want to keep it in the package or if you want to take it out of the package leave Daenerys attached to Drogon don't take her off she'll look really 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 weird so I do hope you like this video review remember to click that like button always click subscribe with a picture of my face when you subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to be notified my latest videos. Of course, last but not least, you can click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. I'll see you next video, and bye-bye.